Hello, welcome back to RC Video Reviews. In this OpenTX tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up dual rates. All right, for this tutorial, I have a very stripped down configuration. I want to show you that I have no flight mode set up. I have no inputs defined, no mixes defined, no outputs, no modifications to outputs, no curves, no switches, no functions, nothing. This is a bare, freshly erased chalkboard. To set up dual rates, we're gonna use inputs. We're only gonna do two surfaces. I'm gonna do aileron and elevator. You guys can extrapolate that out. I think once I show you how it works on two, you can make it work on 20. It's all, all gonna be the same thing, just repetitive. So we'll just do two. We'll do the aileron and elevator, and we're gonna begin by adding an input called aileron, and I'm gonna name it the input name aileron, and I'm gonna give it a line name of aileron, and I'm gonna choose the source aileron. So this source with no modifier is a reference to the aileron stick. So now what this does is it connects the name AIL and the input number one to the aileron stick on your radio. So if you're mode two, that's the one on the right hand side. If you're mode one, that's the one on the left hand side. That's all we've done so far is we've connected the stick to a software construct in OpenTX that we can now manipulate. We're gonna do the same thing for elevator. I'm just going to name it ELE for the input name and ELE for the line name and the source we're going to pick is elevator. And now I want to stop right here and show you that so far we have no mixes, no outputs. All we've done is created an input. Now I'm going to run the simulator and show you what it does. So we have input number one and input number two. We have aileron and elevator. They're both on this stick. Let's look at the mixer and the channels over here on the right. And I'm going to move them both, and you can see that this does absolutely bupkis. It does nothing because we haven't connected those inputs to a mix or to an output. That's the next step. So now on the mixes tab, we're going to pick a channel. And for my purposes, I use AETR, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. But it doesn't matter. That's the thing that's different about OpenTX than what you'll find on most other radios is I can put my ailerons anywhere. Let's say for argument's sake, I wanted them on channel six. I'm going to come in here and type AIL. I'm going to choose my source now. The source I'm looking for is input. You see this one that says I1 AIL? That's the input, that comes off the input tab. The reason we don't use this one that says AIL is because that's the stick. If we use a stick, then we don't get the benefits of the modifications that we can make on the input tab. What, what'll end up happening is this channel will be linked directly to that stick. So anything that happens on the stick happens on the channel. By linking the stick to inputs, we can change the input before it's fed to the mixer and then the output. So that's why we don't choose the raw source AIL and instead we use an input I1 aileron. I'll hit OK there and just to show you, I can prove now that we've now connected our aileron stick to channel 6 by clicking the simulator and watch my mixer. We have channel 6 down here and we're going to have channel 6 on the output watch. See that? Aileron is now on channel 6. If I don't like that, that's the pin 6 on the receiver by the way. If I don't like that, I can just move it. I'll just copy it up there. I'll delete this one. Now I can go back in the simulator and you can see that my aileron is now on channel one. I've got movement. I'm gonna lock it there so I can show you. I've got movement on my mixer and I've got movement on the output channel, channel one. And you can see that it goes all the way up to 100. And the reason it goes all the way up to 100 is because both on the input and the mix, we have the weight defined as 100. Okay, now let's connect our elevator input to a channel in the mixer by clicking on channel two. We're gonna type elevator. We're gonna come down and find the input from elevator right there, and we're just gonna hit okay. Now I can look in the simulator, and we can see that channels one and two are aileron and elevator, and they'll be linked in the mixer and in the channel output. So there's my elevator up and down, there's my aileron left and right. In the most basic form, you just set up a model. Now let's go back to input and add our dual rates. Let's say for our example, we want our high rates to have a weight of 100, so there's my weight, 
and we want to have an expo of 70. One other thing we need to do in this case is assign it a switch. So I'm going to use SB up. You can use any switch you want. I just like SB up. So there's SB up. And now you can see that I've got my input for the aileron configured with a weight of 100 and an expo of 70. And in order for that to be active, SB has to be up. Now we need to create one more rate. We're going to do this by clicking lines and then duplicate. And now you can see that I've got another aileron line on I1 still, and it's got the exact weight and expo as our previous line. Let's go in and make this our low rate. So I'm going to click on that entry and under weight, let's say I want my low rates to be 65 and my expo on low to be 30. Now, when I'm on high rates, the switch is up. If I want low rates, I want the switch to be anything but up. The reason I'm doing that is because if you put this on a three position switch, there's a possibility if you put that switch in a position that's undefined, you could get zero output on your aileron and that's bad, that's a crash. So what this does is it creates kind of a catch all. The logic here is real simple. If SB is up, it's high. If it's not up, it's low. That's it. Now I'm going to do the same thing on my elevator. We're going to duplicate that. I'm going to set my weight to 100 and my expo to be 70. And on this one, I'm going to set my weight to be 65 and my expo we use 30 just like we did on the aileron 30. This one needs to be not SB. I forgot to add my switch on this one. This needs to be SB up. What I've done here is I've configured an aileron and an elevator. High rates are activated when SB is in the up position. Low rates are activated when SB is not in the up position. And that applies for the aileron and the elevator. Let's go back into our simulator and see how things are working. All right, in the radio, let's bring up the input page so you can see what's highlighted here and what's not highlighted. Okay, you can see that SB is up, so it's bold. This row is bold. That's showing you that our high rate is active because the SB switch is up. And it's true for aileron and elevator. Now, if I move that SB switch to the middle, you notice that the low rate gets selected because SB is not up. It's somewhere besides up. If it's up, it's this line. If it's not up, it's the second line. If I bring it, if I bring SB down, you notice it still maintains the low rate. Okay, I put my rate selector on high rates. Now let's take a look at the mixer. I should have 100% throw for aileron and elevator. I want to highlight expo by going into this inputs that we have selected so you can see that there's an expo of 70. And if I drop this, the expo flattens out. You see that? Okay. Let's pay attention now. We're in high rates. So let's look at the channel output for aileron and elevator. They should both be 100 because we have high rates selected. So I'm going to lock my stick and I'm going to move the aileron all the way over. So we've got 100 on the output. We've got 100 in the mixer. Now if I move my stick back to zero and move the elevator all the way up, we have a full 100 on the output and a full 100 in the mixer. All right. Now let's bring this thing back down to zero and we'll activate our low rates. All right now that we've got our low rates selected, we should only see 65% in our mixer because that's all that's being fed to the mixer and therefore the mixer can only feed 65% to the outputs. I'm gonna lock the stick so I can let go and show you. I'll move the aileron all the way over to the right first and you can see 65% is as far as it goes. And then because the mixer feeds output, the output only receives an indicated servo travel of 65%. Let's do the elevator and you can see I've got 65% on the mix and 65% on the output. All right, guys, that's it. That's how you set up dual rates on OpenTX. Sure, there are other ways to do it and you can play with them if you want. You'll figure out eventually why it doesn't work well doing it the other way. This is the conventional way to do mixes on OpenTX. From here, if you want to add a third rate, you can. If you want to use global variables in place of a hard-coded number, you can. There's all kinds of different options out there, but this is a basic dual rate setup for OpenTX. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's been useful to you and you're not already a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when new material hits the channel. For those of you who are already subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate your support of the channel. Don't forget to hit my Amazon affiliate links for consumable RC gear and check out the t-shirt store if you want a cool RC VR t-shirt. That's all I've got for tonight. Take it easy. Oh.